The destroyer USS Laboon has entered the Red Sea, joining USS Mason and USS Kearney amid continuous attacks by Houthis on international shipping. USS Laboon, DDG-58, is an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer in the task force headed by the aircraft carrier Dwight D. Eisenhower that was dispatched to the Middle East as war broke out between Israel and Hamas in October. USS Mason and Kearney have been patrolling the Red Sea for more than a month and intercepting dozens of drones and missiles launched by Houthi forces from Yemen. Viewers may note that about 15% of world shipping traffic transits via the Red Sea and Suez Canal, the shortest shipping route between Europe and Asia. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how USS Laboon would protect international shipping in the Red Sea from Houthis. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The Houthi movement, colloquially simply Houthis, is an Islamist political and armed organization that emerged from the Yemeni governorate of Sada in the 1990s. Houthi rebels in Yemen have previously expressed an interest in combating Israel, and they've reasserted this desire during the 2021 conflict between Israel and Hamas. A few weeks earlier, Abdel Malek al Houthi, the rebel group's leader, warned the United States against intervening in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas. The Houthis have also been releasing video footage claiming to depict the launch of cruise missiles and drones aimed at Israeli targets. The group is known to possess advancing long-range strike capabilities, such as the Quds series of land attack cruise missiles thought to be provided by Iran. Houthis first began targeting vessels that they claimed were headed to Israeli ports but announced earlier this month that they would attack all ships in the strategically vital waterway connecting Asia with Europe. USS Laboon is an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer in the United States Navy. The ship is named for Father John Francis Laboon, a captain in the Chaplain Corps of the United States Navy, who was awarded the Silver Star during World War II while serving on the submarine USS Petto. She was placed in commission on the 18th of March, 1995, and is home ported in Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. The warship has an overall length of 509 feet, that's 155 meters, and a displacement of about 9,200 tons. It's capable of a maximum speed of 30 plus knots, or 55 plus kilometers per hour, and a range of 4,400 nautical miles, or 8,100 kilometers. Being an Arleigh Burke-class warship, it's designed to be a multi-mission destroyer capable of anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, and anti-surface warfare ASUW. For anti-aircraft warfare, USS Laboon is equipped with the Aegis Combat System, which enables it to detect, track, and engage aerial threats like drones, cruise missiles, as well as short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. The warship has several types of missiles accommodated in its Mark 41 Vertical Launch System VLS, present in two blocks of 32 and 64 cells that can be launched to take out incoming threats from long ranges. The Standard Missile 2 or SM2 is primarily used for fleet area air defense and ship self-defense but it also has an extended air defense capability and it has a secondary anti-surface ship mission. Manufactured by Raytheon, SM2 has a range of 170 kilometers or 105 miles and has been in service since 1995. 
Over the years, the missile has been upgraded with new technologies through blocks like 3B and 6. The standard missile 3, or SM-3, is an exo-atmospheric missile defense interceptor used for theater ballistic missile defense. It uses a hit-to-kill kinetic kill vehicle to intercept ballistic missiles during the mid-course of their flight path. SM-3 is unique due to being the only standard missile designed to operate in the vacuum of space. SM-3 Block 1A and 1B have a range of 700 kilometers or 435 miles, and that of 2A is 2,500 kilometers or about 1,550 miles. The RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile ERAM, or Standard Missile 6 SM-6, has been deployed primarily by the U.S. Navy to counter different kinds of threats. It was designed for extended range anti-air warfare ERAAW, purposes providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, anti-ship cruise missiles in flight, both over sea and land, and terminal ballistic missile defense. It can also be used as a high-speed anti-ship missile. SM-6 has a max speed of Mach 3.5, a maximum range of 285 miles or 460 kilometers and a 140 pound or 64 kilogram blast fragmentation warhead. The missile has three variants, Block 1, Block 1A and Block 1B. While the U.S. has announced the creation of an enhanced naval protection force operating in the Southern Red Sea, in an attempt to ward off mounting attacks from Houthis, most of the responsibility will be on the U.S. military. Defense Update's community may note that USS Kearney, another Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, engaged missiles and drones in the region several days ago. That marked the first instance, in recent recollection, where a U.S. Navy ship in the Middle East has engaged missiles and drones that were not explicitly targeted at the vessel. It's also the first U.S. military action taken to defend Israel in the current crisis. The U.S. is trying to deter other actors like Iran and Hezbollah, apart from Houthi in the region, from intervening against Israel as the country is carrying out targeted attacks against Hamas. Expansion of this conflict into a larger war is a major concern. USS Laboon has a wide array of missiles to take out threats of different characteristics. It will surely add to the protective umbrella being arranged in the Red Sea. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.